managing expectations throughout your evolution. That which gets measured, gets managed, and anything that can be managed, can be improved. Are you a desk jockey or a new recreational lifter looking to take your physique to the next level? I'm here to tell you how you can ensure what you're doing is working in a way that will help keep you motivated and on track for faster results. A 170 pounds man with 26% body fat who consistently follows a proper nutrition, training, and sleep schedule can expect to see noticeable changes in his physique within just four weeks. Six to eight weeks and other people will begin to notice the changes in your shape and energy. However, the exact time frame required until your physique has radically changed depends on several factors such as your exact starting point, commitment level, the specific training plan and how you approach nutrition. If a new recreational lifter is working at 110% after 16 weeks, he should be able to add 10 pounds of lean muscle mass as well drop 10% body fat. His weight may not change, but his aesthetic will have radically changed for the better. However, if a guy is over 30% body fat, we would recommend he focus on weight loss first. This is easier to attack with 100% focus and provides quick results which will extend a new lifter's motivation for the harder training and lifestyle adjustments to come. Generally speaking, a safe and sustainable rate of weight loss is around 1 to 2 pounds per week. This rate of weight loss allows for a proper balance between losing fat and maintaining muscle mass. At this rate, it would take a 185 pounds man with 30% body fat approximately 8 to 16 weeks to lose 10 to 20 pounds if he was truly consistent with his commitment. During this time, the individual can expect to experience noticeable changes in their physique, such as a reduction in body fat, an increase in muscle definition and size, and an increased vigor for life. However, it's important to note that weight loss is not always linear, and there may be weeks where progress is slower or even appears non-existent. Weight is an important measurement, but it's not the only one you should focus on. In fact, measuring weight alone is overrated and can lead to poor decisions that lead to losing muscle mass. Instead, you should be performing some sort of body composition analysis like measuring your waist and limb circumferences. It's most effective when taken alongside weight, as it allows you to see if you're losing fat in your midsection but gaining muscle in areas like your arms where you typically won't store as much fat. Seeing increases in arm circumference while also noting decreases in waist circumference would be a positive sign that one is both losing fat, and gaining muscle. But lifters, it's crucial to remember that muscle weighs more than fat and can skew these results as well. Therefore, measuring body composition, weight and circumference, and taking progress photos are the most accurate way to track fat loss progress. Visual measurements like this are a great way to track progress and stay motivated. However, your mind very quickly adapts to your body's changes, and in this way the mirror can lie to you. So, it's important to take regular progress photos to see your progress side by side from week to week. Bodybuilders are well known to experience a type of body dysmorphia where they don't recognize their progress. This can be easily avoided by the combination of using both visual and physical measurements as well as paying attention to how your clothes fit you. Do your shirts hug your arms more? Does your belt fit slightly tighter to your hips? The more in tune you are with these small changes, the more motivated and drive you will have to stay consistent. Taking regular progress photos is important since motivation, like bathing, doesn't last forever, it's important to remember that weight loss and physique changes are not the only indicators of your progress. Improvements in strength, endurance, and overall health should also be taken into account as one adapts to a recreational lifter's lifestyle. To stay on top of this an advanced lifter can benefit from making adjustments more frequently so that he may continue to reap benefits and avoid plateaus. Plateaus are a very real thing for new lifters, whether it's been 16 weeks or 6 months since you started. Once the low-hanging fruit has been picked, and the newbie gains have been achieved, an expert program is required to surpass plateaus. To summarize, the combination of daily weigh-ins, weekly progress photos, and monthly circumference measurements make for a detailed analysis that will ensure you stay on track and achieve your long-term goals. If you want expert-level results, you have to use expert techniques like managing expectations and constant assessment in order to identify opportunity.